Hello. So, a long time ago, I made this video, showing you how to train faster in Dragon Ball Rage. I also made this video afterward. In both of these videos, I stated that game passes go a long way in helping you train faster, but I didn't really go into the specifics in either video. So I decided that I'd make a video stating the specifics as to which game passes are best for training, and why exactly they help. Before we get into that though, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. On this channel, I cover things such as Dragon Ball Rage updates and what said updates will have in them. I also do tutorials like the one you're watching now. I hope you'll stick around. Anyway, onto the video. The first game pass I want to cover is the elephant in the room, the 2 times training game pass. I don't think this needs extensive discussion, but basically, it not only multiplies your base training by 2 times, but that'll also stack with map multipliers. So for example, if you were to get this game pass, and then go to Beerus Planet, your energy and defense gain would actually be 10 times higher than the base gain. This stacking feature is also true of the three game passes for individual stat types. If you were to, for example, get the 2 times training game pass and the 2 times energy game pass, if you were to then go to Beerus Planet, your energy gain would be 20 times higher than if you were to be playing on Earth with no game passes. So you might think that's every beneficial game pass for training explained, that they're the only ones that can help you train faster. Well, think again. Say hello to the Limit Breaker Game Pass. You might be wondering, a hey Kozel, how does this Game Pass help me train? It increases my stat cap, not my training rates. Well, yes, it does increase your stat cap. But the Limit Breaker form itself also provides a 10% boost to your training rates. This is something I recently realized I left out of my past training videos, and actually only recently discovered for myself. So, it probably isn't as helpful as the actual training game passes themselves, but that's still something that could help you out. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.